Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. So in this video I would like to explaining on to a welding defects and its types or you can say welding imperfections. So after the so many welding process now that will be a important theory and that will be considering as a imperfections into a various welding process. So let us start. The basically the weld produced during the welding process may possess some flows such as slack inclusions, porosity, etc., which can hamper its usefulness. Such flows are referred to as a welding defects. Welding defects is the undesired irregularities present into the weld produced during a welding process. So now we will discussing with the different welding defects and first one that will be undercut. So just you can see the underfill grooves present along the edges of the well. So this is a base metals from both ends and in between it will be considering as a well metal. So just you can see that will be making a undercut onto a welding process. So this is the basic fundamental defects is being found and that will be known as a undercut defects. So this is an actual practice of an welding just you can see. So some of the portions it will be having a undercut with a welding. So why it will be generating? So the cause is improper welding techniques is being selected. Excessive welding currents. In current manipulations of electrode while depositing the weld bed. So the remedies for undercut welding. So you should take care about use of large electrodes. Use moderate current and move the weld towards slowly over a workpiece material. Place electrode at a safe distance from the interface of a workpiece material. Second defects and that will be porosity. So generally such kind of defects it will be fine into a welding process. So just you can see there will be the air bubbles is being found into a weld zone. So this is a porous materials it will be generating into a weld zone. So such kind of air bubbles it will be found so that will be considering as a imperfections into a welding. So this is an actual picture. So the cavities or you can say porous cores due to the entrapment gases in the molten metal during the solidification process. So most of the cases of a fusion welding process such kind of defects of porosity it will be generating. So the cause is contaminated gases in a molten metals, inadequate shieldings, unstable arc small arc gap, poor welding techniques and the remedies for porosity, proper selection of electrodes and filler materials, decreasing the speed of a welding torch, next that will be incomplete fusion. So just you can see that will be the incomplete fusions or you can say lack of fusions. So if it will be a bud joint, so such kind of welding it will be performing. So it will be considering as a imperfect welding. So that will be known as a lack of fusions or incomplete fusions. Now for a uh, lab joints, so just you can see, it will be improper welding is being performing for making a joint. Now for fillet, just you can see, it will be the incomplete fusions is being take place. So due to that, it will be also generating the distortion kind of errors. And this is an actual picture of incomplete fusions which will be found onto the welding zone. So that will be basically discontinuity into a weld zone. So the cause is improper penetrations of the joint, wrong design of the joints, incorporating incorrect welding techniques, the remedies for lack of fusions or you can say incomplete fusion. Supplying low electric current than a required. Cleaning the joint properly. Next and that will be overlap. So just you can see. 
So after making a welding joint, or you can say after passing a one of the pass for the welding, so that will be need to clean. Otherwise, it will be making a overlapping. So if you are not proper controlling the speed of the welding, so such kind of defects it will be found. So this consists of the metals that are flowed onto the parent metals without fusing it. It. So the defect is due to the contaminations of a surface of the parent metal. So insufficient heat or you can say it will be the excess travel speed of a torch or you can say electrode. So due to that it will be generating overlapping kind of imperfections into a welding process. After this spattered. So just you can see that will be the droplets it will be onto a surface of the workpiece. So that will be the not acceptable welding or you can say drops of the metals that will be expelled from the weld which strikes to the welding surfaces. So the causes for spatters, high welding currents or you cannot controlling the speed. Long arc, incorrect polarity of the arc blow. So basically polarity for direct currents, so DC with straight polarity and DC with reverse polarity. So as per the requirements of my joints, I would like to select such kind of polarities. Improper gas shieldings, it will be causes the spattered onto a top surface of workpiece. Remedies, decreasing the welding current and arc length. Using arc correct polarity. Checking the correct shielding gas types and its flow rate. The next that will be the incomplete penetrations or you can say excessive penetrations. So just you can see here it will be the incomplete penetrations and from another side it will be the excessive penetrations. So basically it is where the veil metals protrudes the through the roots of the veil and caused by incorrect edge preparation too big a uh, heat concentrations and too slow speed for generating such kind of welding imperfections. Then unacceptable weld profiles. So just you can see such kind of welding profiles it will be not acceptable for any industries or you can say for any engineering applications. So that will be due to the unskilled operators and if the width of the weld bed deposited is not uniform or you can say straight then the weld bed is term as a poor. So it is due to the improper arc length, improper welding techniques, damage electrode coatings and poor electrode and earthing connections or you can say that will be the lack of the skills of an operator. After this the distortion. So just you can see, so such kind of misalignment of the both the components for any kind of joints. So that will be known as a distortions. So distortions is due to the high cooling rate, small diameter electrodes, poor clamping and slow arc travel speed. So just you can see, the such kind of distortion is being take place after the welding process. So if it will be the uneven solidification process of weld bed. So that materials, it will be misaligned from the another materials. So that will be the incomplete dimensional or you can say not good dimensional accuracy is being found. So such kind of defects, it will be known as a distortion kind of defects. Then cracking. So just you can see. So cracking having a basically two types, longitudinal and transverse crack. And second one that will be the crater cracks. So just you can see if the cracks it will be parallel to the weld axis. So that will be makes a longitudinal cracks. If it will be at right angle so it will be makes a transverse cracks. And just you can see if it will be such kind of cracks is being found into the weld pool. So that will be known as a crater cracks. So just see it is a formation of the cracks either into the weld metal or into the parent metal. But basically it will be due to the unsuitable parent metals used into the weld. Bad welding techniques is being responsible for making a crack 
or you can say it will be also responsible as a directional solidification process. If it will be not directional solidification process, so the cracks is being found. Or you can say improper selections of the filler metals, it will be also responsible for formation of the cracking. Then slag inclusions. So just you can see during the flux, if it will be the part of a welding process, so due to that presence of a flux, always it will be the generation of the slag. So these slags, it will be the part of the molten form. And if it will be found into the well zone, so that will be known as a slag inclusions. So basically it is the entrapment of the slags or you can say other impurities into the well. So it is caused by slag from previous runs not being cleaned away. Second, insufficient cleaning and preparations of the base metal before the welding commences. So I hope you understand this. If you like this, then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering tutorials. Thank you so much and keep watching.